Hi, my name is Jason Gaber with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and we've got a customer coming up here shortly to run some uh, circuit boards through our cycling system. And I wanted to walk you through the system first and show you how it all works. So the first part of the system is our 24 by 16 inch hammer mill up there. The lid's off sitting down there in the ground so we can take a look at the inside. And that's going to be essentially a pre-shredder. We have a half inch by three and a half inch uh, screen in there that we'll take a look at in a minute. It's going to come out down on the discharge conveyor here. Come up under a magnetic cross belt. Pull out all the steel and the magnetics. Off the end of the conveyor. This is a, a zigzag machine. It's an air separator that we use for some other uh, recycling. Uh, but for the boards, I don't want to turn it on and suck any fine particles up. I want to get all those down onto the shaker table so we're not losing any precious metals. Here's a look at the inside of the hammer mill. You can see the screen down below. They're half inch by three and a half inch slots. So the boards have to grind up small enough to get down in the, through those slots. Here's the rotor assembly and the hammers. are just on pins there and for our ore grinding hammer mills we have hammers on every slot all the way across but for boards and our recycling stuff we found that you don't need that many hammers especially if it only needs to go through that uh, half inch slot there instead of a, a real fine screen. Once the material has been shredded we're going to feed it into our smaller 16 inch by 12 inch hammer mill here. This hammer mill has a quarter inch punch plate screen in it and the reason we do that is we found that a lot of the metals, copper and aluminum especially, they're large enough pieces that if you try and grind them very, very fine on the first pass, it uh, bogs down the mill and takes a long time and your throughput suffers. So all the metal rolls up into little balls and as soon as they reach quarter inch and smaller they can come out of the screen and the plastic as well. And by doing this your throughput doesn't suffer and the metallic material, even in balls, can come across the, the table and down into the high-grade stuff. All the metals and dense material are going to come across, across the table this way, right up under the water bar, and down to the number one and the number two high-grade. There's going to be a large band of base metals that come down here into the middlings. The plastic and fine fiberglass goes down into the tailings, but there's a sump in the bottom there that pumps it up into the hydrocyclone. Here's looking down into the hydrocyclone. And the premise here is the sump from the tailings pumps up and discharges here, starting a swirl around the bottom of the hydrocyclone. The dense material stays in the bottom and goes down this hole with the water and back into the hammer mill for regrinding and only the lightest material are carried up in the column of water and go down the center hole here and that's the true tailings. This is really similar to a blue bowl for uh, separating fine gold from black sand. It's a, it's a density separator and you can see the material that we're regrinding still has some metallic values in there and so they go down and, and regrind over and over in the system until the metals are liberated and the fine fiberglass floats up and out the top of the hydrocyclone.
So here's the number one and the number two high grade from the run we just did. And you can see it's pretty much pure metal. Lots and lots of copper in there. And this is the number one here. And all the free metallic gold and precious metals ends up in the number one. The number two catches a lot of the base metals and we've also found that a lot of the material, the precious metals that aren't liberated, ends up in the number two. So thanks for watching our videos and if you have any questions or want more information you can email us or give us a call, all of which is in the description below. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.